Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com here to bring you another gear view. Today, I'm talking about this right here, which is the NOCO Genius Boost Plus 1000 Amp Power Pack. A while back, about two years ago, I essentially crowdsourced a list of things to potentially review from my supporters over on Patreon. And this is one of the things that ended up winning. I ended up picking it up and promptly charged it through to my vehicle and pretty much forgot about it until the point I actually needed to use it. I'll often find myself in remote places. The first time that I actually needed to use this was, I don't know, probably about four months later, three or four months later after I had first picked it up in probably late March maybe. Still pretty cold. There was some snow on the ground at the time and it was actually in the grocery store parking lot. Went out to my car this one right here, and it was dead. I was like, damn. Thought for a second, I was like, well, could call roadside service. USAA is awesome. But then I was like, oh, wait a minute. I have this in the back. Pulled it out, hadn't touched it. It literally sat in a really cold car pretty much all through winter. Hooked it up, followed the very simple instructions, started my car up, drove home. It's like, good to go. Why didn't I film that? Last place I wanted to break out my camera and film. I was just like, I just want to get my car out of here and get the groceries back to the house. But it worked after that, magically. My battery was fine. I didn't run into any more issues for quite a while. For whatever reason, after that, that battery held a charge for quite a while. But then the next time I needed this, by time I mean times I needed it, happened in pretty rapid succession. Later that year, last year as of filming this, 2019, I was getting ready to go down to compete in the tactical games in Georgia. Got up that morning, threw all my stuff in the vehicle super early. I was like, all right, let's get out there. Got to go get to the airport. It's flying standby. Car was dead. My other vehicle, Suzu Trooper, 89, things awesome. Didn't have a back on it. I didn't want to leave that there parked in airport long-term parking. So I was like, oh, I still have this in the back of my car. Again, hadn't touched it. Pulled it out, threw it on, simple instructions, hit the button, boom. Started my car, pulled it off, threw it in there, drove to the airport, basically hung out all day, ended up not getting my flight. I was like, dang, I'm like, okay. Go back out to the parking lot. Battery's dead again. Throw this back on it. Jump my car, drive, and now I'm low on fuel. Stop off in Spokane. Go to a gas station. Turn my car off to refuel. Pull this thing back out. Throw it on my battery. Boom, start my car, drive home. So I ended up using this three times in one day on the second occasion that I basically ended up using this. All of that to say this, I have used it and it absolutely does work. As far as the different ports and buttons on here, on this backside is where you charge it and you also have a USB port. So in its little container, it actually comes with a charging cable. It'll plug into any like wall, computer, whatever, USB adapter. And then you have micro USB, micro USB in. Right here, you have USB out. So if you are in a bad way, it's stuck somewhere. Most people have a cell phone. That may well be the one thing that's gonna get you help if it's a problem bigger than this. And so to that end, most people have some form of charging their cell phone inside their car. So simply undo your USB plug it in here, turn this thing on, and now you can charge your cell phone if need be. When it comes down to actually using this thing, number of different buttons here. Main one right here is your power button. Turns it on, right here is a warning button if there's some sort of problem when it's charging, and here it's gonna show you your battery life. Right now it's at 75%. It's been sitting in a car over winter for, well, probably longer than that. It's been in my car, not having been charged for probably about eight months now, but still at 75%. Down here, light, it actually gives you a light right there. 
which is pretty handy. A lot of times bad things happen at night. So you can now be able to go figure out which terminal is which, press it again, it turns it off. As far as actually using this, you undo this port right here at the end, which will allow you to attach your cables. The cables that come in the bag, the way the port is set up, one is a square, the other is a circle, so it can only go one way. You can't put them in wrong. Or if you can, I don't know, kudos, definitely a ASVAB waiver. Past that, you have your positive, which is red, and then you have your negative, which is black. If you are unfamiliar, negative is just a slash, positive, basically think of it as a plus sign. Put it on there, make sure you have a good connection, and then when you're ready, you just hit that. And this will light up right there, telling you it is ready to charge. You can hear it kind of cycling through, giving this thing power. Honestly, this battery is not bad, so it's a non-issue right now. I'm not trying to charge this. Because of the circuitry in here, fortunately, one, you can't reverse the polarity and mess up your battery or this unit. What are my thoughts on this thing? Honestly, I think it's pretty rad, especially at the price point, about a hundred bucks. This is the thousand amp one, and depending, they also have, I think, 1500, 2000, and like 4000. Basically, it scales on what type of vehicle, what type of battery. So if you're in Alaska, driving a giant diesel truck with like two batteries because it's so cold, so hard to start, probably want that 4000. But this has done a good job both for my Trooper as well as this Toyota. I definitely think there's value there. Now, a lot of people may have roadside assistance. It's cool. You have it. Usually it's free with your policy. Call them up. They'll come out and yeah. They'll jump your car for you, which that's pretty handy. But waiting around half an hour, hour, multiple hours, depending on how remote you are, for honestly something that's really simple, like attach the leads, press the button, get back in your car and start it, and you're done. Easy day. And the convenience of how small this is and how easy it is to operate, now I definitely think it's worth having one of these in your vehicle. And even if not for your vehicle, because maybe you're always super prepared, always changing out your battery as it should be, how often do you see someone else that could honestly just use a jump? And a lot of people don't even carry jumper cables anymore. You can definitely help and make someone's day if you have one of these and get them out of a bad spot. But if you pick one up, let me know what it does for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take a chance and tell her what the hell we're